Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading. There it is already <laughs> for June 19th, 2021. Happy Juneteenth. My love to everyone. I love you. All right. We have eternal love. Let me share with you. <laughs> Let me share. I'm having a rough go of it, trying to get words out of my face, okay? Can I say Mercury retrograde? I don't care if I can, I'm going to say Mercury retrograde, okay? Fine. So I just tried to record this, making a mess of it. I tried to re-record it again. The same card came out. This just happened for another video that is just amazing. I don't know. I'm amazed. <laughs> so it's eternal love. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving, expressing, and giving love. The big part of that is giving love. Today is about freedom. It's about loving one another, being there for one another, seeing the beauty in each other. And it's time for us to come together. I'm not kidding you guys, on a soul level, okay? You can do whatever you want on the surface, but listen, well, you can't <laughs> be good to each other. But on a soul level, this is what we need to do. We need to connect back into that soul level love and be there for each other because we keep getting fed a narrative that makes us hate one another. We keep getting turned into fear and, and grief and all of these things. And then we start going after each other and it's not okay. Our souls are eternal. This love is eternal. And that is what we need to tap into today. Yeah, you could take it very personally to say, well, that means I'm coming together with my twin flame, my divine counterpart. If you're going to use that term twin flame, you better do some study on where it comes from because there's some sloppiness around it. You know how I feel about it. If you watch my videos, I don't just go along with the crowd. I don't just take a concept and twist it to make it popular and whatever. Know what you're saying when you talk about twin flames. You can take it that way. Okay, but make sure you're doing so from a healthy place, not a place of desperation or, again, some false narrative that gets twisted and put out there for convenience sake. Divine counterparts, sure. I'm being like, <laughs> being so nasty about love partners. Could love happen today? Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Don't let me spoil your love connection. But I just ask everybody, you know, if we're going to do some real soul work, you have to be willing to look at the truth of where something came from and understand that, okay? And especially today, understand history, the real history. You know, we were saying that there could be some truth that gets uncovered and it might be something around history. Maybe I was saying a couple of days or maybe yesterday, I don't remember, like there could be an article that comes out and it, it maybe doesn't at first get a lot of attention, but it does help us think in a different way. It's time for us to just stop accepting what we've been fed as a truth. And when we tap into love and we're there with one another and we're supportive of one another, that truth is going to come up. We're going to tap into it. And I think it's never going to be the same. It's just never going to be the same. And all that stuff that you think is impossible, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Are we all going to be treated equally? We'll see to it. So we're going to leave it there. As always, I love each and every one of you and take care.